I got a question for you. What happens when you take a really nice looking NHL jersey and mix it with a really nice soccer jersey? You get a cool looking mashup. How's it gonna look? You're about to find out in today's video because I'm the Jersey Jaguar and I recreated all 32 current NHL teams in soccer kits. Let's get to it. All right, so before we get started, I just want to say that all of these NHL uniforms are going to be based off previous or current Adidas soccer templates, being that every team in the NHL wears Adidas. Guys, they are going to be based off of current uniforms, either home, away, reverse retro, winter classic, etc. All right, so leading things off are the Boston Bruins. Now, guys, obviously it's based off the current reverse retro 2.0. Uh, most of the ones that are the reverse retros, you're going to be able to see the logos that are used from those jerseys. Now, guys, as you can see on the top of the bottom of this jersey, it has those harsh, jagged lines, just like the reverse retro. And it's the same color, so I really wanted to compliment the jersey. And I got the Pooh Bear on the chest. All right, so the Montreal Canadiens, I like this one a lot. It's really clean, so I wanted to take the cleanliness of the hockey jersey that the Canadiens wear and put it into the soccer jersey. Obviously, I got that nice band Going across the front, I wanted to try to replicate the colors with the white, blue, white. All right, now the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, obviously it speaks for itself. I got lightning bolts on the shoulders as well as on the hips, on the shorts. Now guys, this is based off the away jersey. Again, I wanted a clean look, but I wanted to add a little bit something more to it instead of just being plain white and blue like the hockey jersey is. I'll read the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now guys, as original six team, I wanted something to be nice, vintage, clean, and calm looking and that's what i wanted for with the soccer uniform as you guys can see it's only two colors just like they wear on their home uniform and for me this looks good for a toronto maple leaves team all right the florida panthers having probably the best 2.0 reverse retro if not a top three 2.0 reverse retro guys i really wanted something to accent the wildness of the jersey and the uniqueness of it hence the color of the jersey the logo and i added a little bit of a subtle design within it to even make it pop a little bit more the Detroit Red Wings, another original six team. So again, I wanted to do my best to keep it true to the Red Wings heritage and have it as clean as possible. I think I accomplished that with this uh, current soccer uniform that you see right here. However, I added just a little subtle design to the jersey just to give it a little bit more flavor and just to have it have a true soccer feel to it. All right, so the Buffalo Sabres. Now the Buffalo Sabres, this is going to be based off their home uniform. And I know their home uniform has a little bit more yellow than white. Obviously, on the soccer kit right here, it has more white than yellow. But I wanted something to truly accent and complement stripe usage on the soccer kit, as well as the stripes are used on their hockey jersey. All right, the Ottawa Senators. Now, I gave it that nice imperial-looking collar. This obviously is going to be based off their home uniform. You know, this is a cool-looking jersey. I tried to get the fonts somewhat close to the ones that they use in hockey. I have just the two racing stripes going down the center. You know, it's a clean and basic jersey, just like they were in hockey, with, with a little bit of minor touches to it. All right, the Columbus Blue Jackets, again, another Imperial-style collar, as I like to call it. Now, I wanted something based off their Canon uniform. I love those alternates. For me, it's their best uniform, and for me, it's one of the better alternates in the league. Uh, obviously, we got the navy blue, the cream, and the sky blue. I had just a little touch of a sky blue pattern on the jersey, again, to give it more of a soccer feel. All right, so the Washington Capitals, now they have a top three reverse retro 2.0, so I wanted to do it based off that. Now, guys, I wanted to complement the copper color because copper looks good on those jerseys, so why not bring it back? And I have that nice subtle design going on an angle on the front of the jersey to kind of replicate or at least complement like they do on their hockey jersey. All right, so the New Jersey Devils, this is based off their home uniform. Red, black, and white looks good in almost every sport on almost every team, so I wanted to keep that. And I wanted to make it look a little like vintage looking or like early 2000s soccer style. So I added the collar and a lot of stripes, kind of like an AC Milan style. I like the way it turned out. All right, the Philadelphia Flyers. Now they are known for having orange uniforms, obviously. So I did it based off their home uniform. And guys, I wanted to take the color blocking that they have on their uniforms and that they're known for and put it onto the soccer kits. I added a pattern to the uniform, not a 
printed pattern, but an actual pattern within the material to give it a little different effect than the rest of the teams have. All right, the Carolina Hurricanes, obviously I went really hard with the pattern. I wanted that pattern from their hockey jerseys on the bottom to be the whole pattern of this jersey. I went hard with it. I think it looks good. It's really unique and it definitely screams Carolina Hurricanes. All right, the New York Islanders. So again, another reverse retro 2.0. Now guys, as you've seen in the beginning of this video, I showed their jersey and this is what it ended up looking like. I wanted something to signify these stripes from the reverse brush 2.0, but at the same time, I wanted to bring the fonts and I just wanted a nice, strong, vivid, loud looking uniform. All right, the Pittsburgh Penguins, obviously this is based off the 2023 Winter Classic uniforms that they had and they were awesome. So I got the beige in there, the black and the gold, but I put a really strong pattern in there and I even put the two black stripes on the front of the jersey and not the back of the jersey, just like on the Winter Classic, this is actually one of my favorite ones from the series that I created. All right, in the New York Rangers. Now the Rangers, I wanted that diagonal ward mark. However, I wanted to do it soccer style. I made it really subtle within the background. And I wanted the strong striping on the shoulders, just like their away uniforms. They have one of the best away uniforms in hockey, in my opinion. So I wanted this uniform to strongly complement that. All right, the Colorado Avalanche. Now the Avalanche, I wanted something to look kind of like a MLS uniform, you know, and I kept it within their same color scheme. I wanted something to look really modern, but at the same time to be pulled together really well. It's obviously based off their home uniform, being that they have a really unique and the only color scheme in the NHL that uses those colors. All right, in my hometown team, the Chicago Blackhawks. Now guys, I wanted something based off the reverse retro 2.0 with the heavy stripes. I know that one actually has a little bit more red than black, but this one ended up looking better with a little bit more black than red. However, I wanted something again on this uniform to complement those stripes. And this one actually I didn't like at first. I redid it a bunch of times and the way it finished out, I really like it. All right, these St. Louis Blues. Now the St. Louis Blues were actually a hard one to come up with in theory for me because their you know, home and away uniforms are really basic. Their alternate's cool, but I wanted to stick with the home. So I came up with this really monotone jersey and uniform, but just with these strong gold accents to make it pop. Now, as you can see, I have fading lines on one side of the jersey, and then obviously on the other side of the jersey, meaning that they're faded, they're not gonna be there. All right, the Arizona Coyotes. Now, this is based off their home uniform, their current home uniforms, being that they have the new style. Now, guys, I really wanted something to look tribal and really something to stand out. So I came up with this. It has a nice Mexico feeling to it uh, from, from this current World Cup and previous World Cups. Now, guys, also, I wanted to note that I kept the same color scheme with the maroon, black, cream, and dark green. And for me, this jersey really works as well as the rest of the uniform. All right, in the Winnipeg Jets, obviously another reverse retro 2.0. I love that light blue color that they use. It's not exactly light blue and it's not exactly teal. It's something kind of in between, more to the light blue side. I love the aviator jersey, so I wanted to do this reverse retro 2.0 and really complement that light blue color. All right, the Nashville Predators. Now the Predators, I wanted to incorporate something from their past. So I based it off their home uniform, but I added that checker that they had on some of their other jerseys from previous years. I kept the yellow, but with those checkers, I made it really subtle and I had it fading so it wasn't too overwhelming. All right, the Dallas Stars, obviously based off their alternate that they currently wear, that black and neon green was too hard for me not to want to do something with a uniform. So I did it. I added just a really, really subtle uh, striping in the background just to break up that neon green and black and give it a little bit more pop. All right, the Minnesota Wild, obviously another reverse retro 2.0. And again, guys, the color scheme was too hard to pass up. Kelly green and gold looks so well on so many uniforms and sports, so why not do it with this one? I wanted to do something kind of like early 90s, late 80s looking in terms of the sock uniform, hence the pattern and the style of collar. The Vancouver Canucks. The Vancouver Canucks have an awesome color scheme with the royal blue and the Kelly green, so I wanted to complement that and bring something from the past, hence why I kind of have that really subtle V design on the front of the jersey to show homage to the Vancouver Canucks. All right, the Anaheim Ducks, obviously another jersey based off their home uniform. Now, guys, I wanted something to look like Barcelona, and yes, I know Nike does Barcelona, not Adidas. However, I kind of use the strapping from there, but with the Ducks colors, for me, it works really well the way it pops. All right, the Calgary Flames is actually gonna be a little bit of a matchup between two uniforms, primarily their home uniform with the color scheme. However, I did take some aspects from their Blasty alternate that they currently wear this season with the Flames that's towards the bottom of that jersey. However, I put Flames across the whole uniform 
on this one just to make it really look unique and stand out from the rest of the uniforms in this series. All right, the Vegas Golden Knights. Now for Vegas, I wanted to do something really, really unique. I wanted to look kind of dark themed. I wanted it to be in your face. I wanted it to be mean, grungy, kind of like a Mad Max feel to it. So I came up with these. You know, it's based off the current home uniforms, which used to be their alternate. And guys, for me, I really like this one. It's one of my favorite in the series. All right, the Los Angeles Kings. Now the Kings obviously is based off their reverse Reginald 2.0, so I put the crown as the logo. Now guys, I couldn't pass up purple. Purple is my favorite color. For those of you who don't know, I'm in absolute love with the color purple. Guys, like the gold really complements it literally because it is a complement color to purple. And I wanted something to look royal, to look very, very unique and expensive, so I came up with this design. All right, and the Seattle Kraken based off their reverse retro 2.0. But guys, I wanted to do something with that color because that color is just so unique. It's called Ice Blue. No other team has it. It's teal with a very, very slight hint of sky blue in it. It looks awesome. I put horizontal stripes to kind of give it like a sailor look. And I made those stripes really subtle to focus on that color. All right, the Edmonton Oilers. Now, for the Oilers, I did it based off their current alternate. I love two-tone jerseys, so that navy with that popping orange on there was too much not to want to do it. Now, guys, I added a subtle design in there, kind of make it look like a little like oil spill or something, so that's what I came up with. The San Jose Sharks, obviously based off their home uniform. Now, guys, teal is another one of my favorite colors, and the Sharks teal is just absolutely beautiful, so I wanted something kind of inspired by the ocean, but yet still being dark and mean. So I came up with these. I got that uh, pattern on the jersey and on the socks. Then we got the Sharks logo. It's teal and black, not too much white, if any white at all. And guys, I absolutely love this uniform. And there you go. There's all 32 teams. How did you guys like these? Let me know in the comments. What were some of your favorites? Which ones didn't you like? Also, there's another video you want to see me do in the future. Don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to get it done. I'll see you at the next one.